Hey everybody, it's Jay Warren with another On The Clock here in Arlington. You know, you probably drive by the more than 10 water tanks, or at least one of them, every single day here in Arlington. But did you know they're servicing about 17.5 million gallons of water, and a new one will soon be built. Here's City Manager Trey Yelverton with more on those tanks and the crews that are servicing them. Thanks, Jay. Today I'm out at Tierra Verde, one of our elevated storage tanks, and I'm with Justin Kirkdorfer, yes. one of our civil engineers, who's going to talk to us a little bit about what we're doing here today, which uh, is pretty interesting. It's up there pretty good. What are we, what are we going to do today at the, uh, the Tierra Verde water tank? So today uh, we're going to look at, TCEQ requires us to review, to take a look at all of our elevated storage tanks once a year. So we're going to go through the checklist and confirm that all of the items on that checklist are, are covered. And so that's the uh, Texas and Commission on Environmental Quality? Correct. Right? Yes. Okay. And how many of these tanks do we have in town? We have 10 tanks. 10 tanks. Yes. So James, tell us a little bit about uh, what you do on the water system and how you take care of making sure everybody's got good, clean, safe water. Uh, we, uh, behind secured fences, the water plants, pump stations, uh, elevated storage tanks, uh, we do all the maintenance on from uh, small leak repairs to major uh, uh, repairs. How much water sits in this tank? This is a one million gallon tank. So there's two, two uses for elevated storage. Uh, first is it, it stores water yeah. for, for the system. The second one is it maintains pressure in our system. Well, uh, maybe we should go check it out. Here's the climbing harness. We're essentially gonna step in one foot here, one foot here. Are you all set? Yeah, I'm in. Um, so the climbing harness, we're gonna hook up to the fall restraint with this or with this, depending on if we're going up or down. So now after about a 150 foot climb up to the top of the Tier Verde tank, we're on top of Arlington at the moment. One of the th items that we do is we, we're going to look at all the coating on top of the, the roof here, um, look for any uh, bad coating, coating failures, rust and pitting, things like that. Okay. So start looking all the way out there. So like this, would this so be like a spot? this would be a good spot, absolutely. Is this coating like uh, an epoxy type surface or what, what is this stuff? Yes, sir. Is it so just paint? This is going to be an epoxy. It's typically three layers. It's got a primer, uh, a, a center coat, and then a top coat. Okay. Um, today we're using uh, fluoroethylene uh, top coats, which are good for, even better for the sun. You know, this one, it looks like it's actually hitting metal. Yeah. So this might be something where we do want to come back out here. And, uh, and grind some of this away and uh, get some, uh, some temporary uh, coating that, that will last five, 10 years. So they're not long enough for the next cycle of this uh, gotcha. that we have on this. So what you see here is this is the, the ladder to get inside of the bowl. Um, we have uh, potable water on the inside. And as part of this inspection, we're gonna put a camera down in there to kind of get a look of some of the material to make sure we're not having any chipping or peeling or right. any kind of corrosion. And there's going to be chipping and there's going to be corrosion. Yeah. Um, it's, is, it, is it still in a manageable state? Right. Um, Before so that's, we that's need to take the tank out for a full renovation. Yes, and, sir. and then these things will probably last, what, 15, 20 years before you need to do a cycle like that? That's, that's, the, that's the timeline. How has technology improved your ability to do a better inspection on the inside of these uh, elevated storage tanks? We couldn't look inside the bowl very easily. Um, today, with a small camera, we can put it on a stick, um, disinfect all of that equipment, drop it in, and watch it real time on an iPad. So it just makes looking at the inside of the tank mm -hmm. that much easier. It looks pretty clear. I mean, I don't see any, any material on the surface of the water. It looks pretty clear. I don't really see any silt or yep. anything like that. So that'll be our end. We'll, we'll write down for TCEQ. That was good. So I appreciate uh, you guys showing me what you do every day. It's fun up here on top of Arlington, but I know more importantly, our residents really appreciate uh, having plenty of water in their shower and plenty of clean, safe drinking water. So on behalf of all of our residents, just want to thank you for what you guys do to keep us uh, with good water and flowing well. Thank you for your time. All right. Yep. Thanks, Trey, and thanks to you at home for watching another On the Clock. We'll see you back here next time.